The future has arrived in the form of the present. By utilizing advanced robotic technology, China is quickly becoming a global powerhouse. Imagine that you walk into a room and there, standing in front of you, is a copy of you that is identical to you in every way except that it does not breathe since it is composed of metal and silicon. This is really science fiction. In China, they've already made robots that can mimic people right down to the layout of their veins to their skin. Watch this video to learn how the world's most lifelike humanoid robots are built and what they're capable of doing. But before you do, be sure to give the video a like and a subscribe for more content like this. Presently, there exists a diverse range of humanoid robots that vary in their physical attributes and dimensions. These robots are widely being employed in various domains such as scientific investigation and extraterrestrial exploration, individual support and caregiving, educational and recreational pursuits, search and rescue missions. Not to mention the industrial production and upkeep, public relations and notably the healthcare industry. Films have included bionic robots for a good number of years now. A museum in China is taking inspiration from science fiction to create lifelike robots. These robots have veins in their legs and goosebumps on their bodies in order to give the impression that they are alive. The EX Future and Science Museum in the city of Dalian, China showcases cutting-edge kinds of robotic technology with a goal of personalizing and realism-enhancing robots to the greatest extent feasible. Technicians at the museum are able to scan features and limbs in order to produce dynamic 3D robots as stated in a tour of the museum's research and design center that was published by a media station that is tied to the Chinese government CGTN. Another source has shared a video in which a journalist is having her facial features scanned so that she can customize an android of her own. In a video shared by the company, the robot is seen wearing a glove that allows her to control the movements of a robotic leg that was manufactured using a 3D printer. The skin is made of medical grade bionic silicone and the goosebumps on the skin, the veins on the feet and the palm lines are all very realistic. The robots at the museum have also been seen roaming around outside of the museum's grounds. One of the museum's robots can be seen directing tourists to COVID-19 test sites in Dalian in a video that was uploaded to Facebook in November. The robot is equipped with a face shield. In addition, the museum, which first opened its doors in September 2021, showcases robots designed in the likeness of Steve Jobs and Albert Einstein. A video promoting the exhibit was published in February and it features two robots waving and wishing guests a happy Chinese New Year. Both robots appear to be in good spirits. In recent years, China has made significant strides in the field of artificial intelligence, going so far as to create marketing campaigns that are led by AI idols that are eerily lifelike and immensely popular. During the Beijing Games, the country also utilized a large number of robots including robotic waiters who brought food to the tables and robotic chefs who prepared the meals. The all-black humanoid robot GR1 which debuted at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference or WAIC in Shanghai in July and immediately took the spotlight is the most recent innovation in this field. Since the launch of OpenAI's ChatGPT in November, the global technology community has been fixated on artificial intelligence software. However, the Chinese-made GR1, which is said to be capable of walking on two legs at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour while carrying a load of 50 kilograms, reminded individuals of the potential of bipedal robots which are being pursued by global companies ranging from Tesla to Xiaomi. The GR1 competition was an improbable win for Fourier, a startup company based in Shanghai. It is a unique effort by us. We barely had any reference when it came to the technology, said Alex Gu, the founder and chief executive officer of Fourier. The development of humanoid robots was not initially Fourier's primary goal. Joseph Fourier, a French mathematician and physicist who lived in the 19th century, inspired the company's name. 
The business was established in 2015 in Zhangjiang, a technology cluster located in Shanghai with the intention of producing rehabilitative robots. The company's current offerings include a computerized exercise cycle, a wireless robotic glove, and a collection of computer-guided devices that assist customers in regaining movement in their arms and legs. Gu, a 42-year-old alumnus of Shanghai Jiao Tong University's mechanical engineering program, has long harbored the fantasy of designing and fabricating his very own humanoid robot, much like many of his contemporaries. Therefore, in 2019, when Fourier had succeeded successfully established itself in the market by distributing its intelligent rehabilitation equipment to hundreds of hospitals and medical care centers in over 10 countries, Gu made the decision that it was time to launch a new business. Because of the exorbitant cost of development and the high technological barrier, back then, only a small number of companies throughout the world had successfully released a humanoid robot. In the United States, there were a few projects, the most notable of which were Atlas, developed by Boston Dynamics, the same company that is famous for its dog robot Spot and Digit, developed by Agility Robotics. The majority of businesses in China have decided to focus their efforts on developing lightweight products such as robots with four legs. Gu believed that he was capable of doing better. Many of the technologies used in rehabilitation robots are essentially applicable to humanoid robots as well. Humanoid robots require very good motors that are both powerful and light, and we are able to develop them ourselves. They're not yet commercially available. When the 1.65 meter tall robot was successfully made to stand up on both legs and walk in 2022, three years after the beginning of the project, the team realized a significant milestone in the project's development. In addition to the technical obstacles, researchers and robotics experts have warned that businesses still face significant barriers in the process of commercializing humanoid robots in the general consumer market. These days, humanoid robots are only found in research facilities due to their prohibitively high cost. The price of a moderately high-quality machine can run into the millions of yuan, but this has not stopped businesses from attempting to create one. In August 2022, Lei Jun, the creator of the Chinese smartphone giant Xiaomi, demonstrated on stage the company's first humanoid robot, Cyber One. It was seen to be capable of walking, but not much else. Lei Jun was unable to provide any further details. A little over one and a half months later, on the occasion of the company's AI day, Elon Musk, the billionaire founder of Tesla, presented a prototype of the company's much-anticipated Optimus robot. On stage, it walked and danced for the audience in real time. A movie was also played for the audience, which demonstrated the robot completing various tasks, such as moving metal bars and carrying a box. It is anticipated that within the next three to five years, Fourier's humanoid robots will create more revenue than the company's rehabilitation robots. He stated that these robots have enormous potential in a variety of scenarios, including the care of elderly people, education, and the welcoming of guests. Despite this, there is still a significant distance to travel before humanoid robots become commonplace in our everyday lives. Do not anticipate a miracle to occur within the next year or so. Even with Tesla, we need to be patient while they work towards the goal of mass-producing humanoid robots. But on the other hand, we should not exclude that the chance in 5 or 10 years, this thing may become ingrained in the lives of people and their families. The field of robotics has been advancing at a rate that has never been seen before, and humanoid robots have been at the vanguard of this technological revolution. These robots, which are designed to replicate human shape and behavior, are undergoing a transformation that is affecting many different industries, including healthcare, education, entertainment, and personal support. In a nutshell, the change brought on by humanoid robotics is already well underway. In spite of the obstacles, it appears that we're headed in a positive direction, with humanoid robots poised to play an increasingly vital role in a variety of industries in the rapidly advancing field of robots. Problems such as interruptions in supply chains and labor shortages require smart responses. 
Diversify your supplier base, cultivate meaningful connections, and implement just-in-time production to strengthen your resilience. Embrace the concept of remote work. Focus on improving employee skills and make use of automation. Maintain a buffer stock, encourage innovation, and network with other professionals in your field. Despite the challenges they face, these tactics enable robotics companies to maintain their rapid expansion and ongoing success. The robotics industry has the ability to overcome challenges and pave the path for a more advanced future if it maintains a flexible and proactive mindset. The boundary between science fiction and the actual world is becoming increasingly hazy as we continue to make technological advancements and break new ground in this field. The advent of humanoid robotics has arrived, and it is already transforming our environment in ways that only a few short decades ago were unimaginable to us. Thank you all for watching, and if you liked what you saw, make sure to subscribe to stay in the loop for more content like this.